while those guys were waiting for somebody. I'm glad they waved me through and didn't pull me over. Okay guys, there was a, uh, some people driving by, they're selling stuff, and uh, so I ended up buying some, look at the bag of red snapper, look at the size of the, the fillets, on, oh, I should point it there, red snapper, that's there, and then I bought a big bag of jumbo, massive uh, prawns, and sole. So that came out to be uh, $50 Canadian for those three bags right there, which is cheap. Because <laughs> I'll guarantee you can't. Just the prawns alone will probably be 35 bucks just for the prawns. So anyways, we are going to, uh, we're still here right now. We're going to be uh, packing up and heading down the road. Nice. Don't get, me, don't get me wrong. Nice place, but a little too busy. A little too touristy for me. Like we're, we're parked fairly close to each other here and there's, there's a lot of people here. So yeah, we're going to be packing up and heading down here. I'm just doing some editing on this next video and then we're going to be hitting the road. guys we are leaving this spot here don't get me wrong absolutely stunning but because of it there's a lot of traffic here a lot of people a lot of traffic <clears throat> prosecutor Dan Wagner finally heard those words yes. like I said there's a lot of traffic here but anyways um, and a shitload of dogs <laughs> the van right beside where Lori was staying it's a just a white Ford transit or something like this but four small dogs in this white van and of course Humphrey just goes absolutely cuckoo because these dogs none of them are on a leash and of course he doesn't pick up his crap because he walked out on the beach last night when I was having a beer before uh, the sun went down and he watched all his dogs take a crap and then he walked back to his van so oh boy anyways um, and there's kids running up and down the beach too like you know as a dog owner like if you stepped in crap you'd be you know pretty pissed off yourself yet you're gonna let your dogs and these young kids are running up and down and digging in the sand so I, I don't know you can't fix stupid people and and it's it is what it is I'm just waiting for Lori here to get going no idea where we're stopping tonight I just asked her I says uh, how far are we going? I won't tur tur turn the DC DC charger on. She goes about two hours. I said, okay, that's good enough. I'll, that'll give me 60 amps. So, Yeah, there's a lot of people here. There's a uh, vehicle lined up all the way down the sides here, and there's a ton of people. And there's a Lance camper there, of course, the Chevy. I don't know. Chevy, you got to start oiling your bolts that go in your bushings for your leaf springs or something. I don't hear any other vehicle making noise like this damn thing. And I try to spray it down too, but. I might just take it to a spring shop and say, listen, take the damn bolts out and put grease all over everything and put it back together. Nothing more irritating. It sits up nice, it holds the weight good, it just makes a frickin' racket doing it.
I'll tell you, I don't like the way these wires look though. That's going on the video. No, it's not. So the wooden buildings in this town are, are made from all old ships. This is a French, this was a French settled town here. I'm going to this one right here. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Let's not get killed, you guys. Yeah, exactly. This looks like it's got some years behind it. Mm -hmm. There's a thing right around the corner that might actually it tell looks, you. Oh, there's a puppy. Hi, puppy. Another one. Come on, you guys, this way. No, no, Andy, you can't go in there. Get a boo boo. I better not slip on the nail out here. Be careful. Humphrey, stay here next to Mama. Stop. Oh, yeah, so this is exactly what that shows there. Interesting. So it looks like these ones here are all the same, except these ones here are, are actually still being used. Come on, go get Uncle JJ. Good boy, Humphrey. I wonder what happened to that one. Interesting. So the ch church this is should be like the the Mexican Bisbee. <laughs> yeah, no this kidding. This town, right? So the church should be here and to, to our right, if I'm correct, because we drove the, up past the church and came this way. Look at that little thing. Yeah, we have to go down the hill. Humphrey, are you okay? Humphrey doodles. Interesting little things they have in here. I know. You know what? I that would have been extremely hot to operate because that's a boiler behind them. So it worked off steam. <laughs> Can you imagine sitting on that thing on a hot day? Not really. Oh, there's some police. Come on, up on the sidewalk, you guys. Here. Come on, guys, get on the sidewalk. There you go. Cool. All right. So this church, which is now called um, Santa Barbara Parish, I believe, is in Santa Rosalia. And this was actually at the base of the Eiffel Tower. 
It was made by Gustav Eiffel. He designed it. It's made of metal. They dissembled it and they brought it to this little French community. Siempre soñé de tenerte aquí toda la vida un tita mí tanto amor tengo Okay, where are we? We are in Loretto. Loretto, and this is where we're staying right now for one Riviera night. Just Del because Mar. it is Riviera. Is it Del, Del Mar? Mar? Oh, Del Mar. Dumbass. <laughs> I, was waiting for you. I was waiting for you to say that. Anyways, we are going to go to the local grocery store, pick up some uh, odds and ends. <laughs> I love the way the concrete gets pushed up like this and then they just kind of leave it you definitely want to be paying attention when you walk around mexico out there drive around walk around drive around or walk around anything oh and then there we go are you interested in some property no not really are you certain i am almost 100 percent certain i can't fit anything i own in these streets but your bike. well that's true so we're just going to go to the uh we're just gonna go to the local grocery store, pick up some groceries, and unless we see a bar on the way there, stop for a cold drink ski, a drink of mode ski, a mala mala mode ski. No? Sure. All right. It is beautiful here though, guys. And now they're warm. Yeah, I know. 
You can see the mountains outside of town there. It is another warm day though. Is that the way it always goes? I am actually editing this video right now, guys, and I have no idea what happened to the footage. I went past that uh, lighthouse you saw there, and I went right to the end of the boardwalk there, and I looked around and got all these videos of the shops and stuff, and I have no idea the ending and everything. I don't know what whatever happened. I went through all my footage, and I still can't find it. So this is just a makeshift ending to that video. <laughs> Um, hopefully, uh, maybe on the way back, we'll stop over we'll at it again and, and do a little bit more exploring. But uh, yeah, it's not the first time I've lost footage, and I don't know if I overrid it or something. I don't know. Anyways, guys, I'm afraid that's it for this one. It's not the ending I wanted, but that's all I got. So, <laughs> as always, <laughs> be good, be kind, be careful, and don't lose your footage. Bye bye.